Okay, so there's the last piece of sheetrock to go up, and the whole thing will be sheetrocked. All the walls will be insulated. Uh, I'm going to try to do this by myself. I've got a couple nails pounded into the foundation in between. I'll set the sheet on it. Hopefully it fits. I'll put a couple screws in it. Cut my box out. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be, uh, we can get it in there. I wish you luck. Move that for now. tight. Oh, I didn't mark the studs. Oh, I figured out. So it was 11, so 12 and a half, and this was 12, so 13. Does that give me 16? Pretty close, let's see. Yeah, that's a stud. That might not be. All right. Okay, so Alright, so that'll get covered up there by the trim. That's where my sprinkler alarm, sprinkler wires come through.
Okay, so I got a little ahead of myself. I was gonna cut the, take the plugs. I was gonna take the plugs out of this box and then cut around it and feed them through so I didn't do that. So now I'm gonna have to make a mess and cut a hole. It's gonna be a little big. So we'll see. Let me see if I can do this. So 14 and a half is the center. 25 and a half. And then 57 and a half. Alright, so that's the center. Until I screwed that up because <laughs> I cut way too high but anyway I'm gonna do that I'm gonna take these out pull them through cut through these other two sides and then I'll have to patch that but you get the picture then I'll take that and paint it and make it pretty but we're moving on okay here we go we got some more stuff done Got the compressor mounted. Looks good, huh? Yeah, I'm liking it. Got all my plugs in. Each one of these is its own circuit. Got its own breaker. Got the breaker panel in. Got the covers on. Got all the covers on the light boxes and in the ceiling. Everything's covered up up there. I've got this corner. Let's see what it looks like. Got the heat going. I'm trying to dry it fast. So I got that corner insulated. Second coat of mud on it. And I think all I'm going to do is uh, let that go for another hour maybe. Then come out here and sand it maybe put another coat in that back corner we'll see how it looks I put a good coat on it when I taped it but I'd like to prime and paint that tonight prime it anyway and then uh, yeah it'll be good to go I'm liking it got a lot done today a lot done today my uh, drill press right there. I'm going to set it over there by that set of plugs and fold it to the floor. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be a, it's going to have a shop finally. I'll bring you in on the rest of it. All right, so I got a uh, two coats of mud, a quick sand, and a coat of primer. Uh, it's going to see if I that primer I get my heater to run get that primer dried and it might get a coat of paint tonight we'll see gotta get this thing done 
All right. Oh, we go on the garage build. <laughs> so today, I'm going to work on this corner. See if I can't uh, get some shelves built and start putting things back together. So I'll kind of walk you through the phases of that as I go along. But I'm thinking maybe two shelves. They're going to be pretty long. Eight footers by at least. So I think two will be enough. So I'll bring you along. All right, there's a couple of shelves. That's within maybe six inches of what they were over there. I had four shelves, and now I have two, but they're longer. Built out of two by fours. Should be a lot stronger. So now I can start putting some stuff away, finally. Okay, so a little more progress. Got the shelves on. Started putting some stuff away. Slid my old bench back in the corner there. Not real sure what I'm going to do with that. It came with the house, and I just really don't have the heart to get rid of it quite yet, I guess. But there's the bench. Now I'm going to start trying to put some of this stuff away. See if I can find a get down to the bottom of this <laughs> mess but moving along all right so it's been a day or two I put up this shelf and have all my automotive stuff that I've collected over the years there down at that end I have some put up some shelves and I have some uh, paint, my auto body stuff, sandpaper, uh, still trying to organize and then I showed you these. This is going to be household stuff. I really need to learn to let go of things but anyway just trying to get the thing cleared out so I can get the truck back over here and get working on it again but I'll keep showing you the progress alright my friends there you go the old Ford is back it's in the garage and we still have a little bit of a mess that we're dealing with, you know, trying to find places for everything to go, trying to get over my hoarding. I still think I got a spot to build some shelves for some other stuff, but there it is. This corner here will be the last thing I do, probably the next thing I work on, and that's my furnace. But I'm going to do this corner. Uh, but I needed to get the old Ford back in the driveway, back in the garage. Uh, I really like the way this turned out. See how the wife's car fits. Oh yeah. She's got plenty of room. Got the rest of my lights up. So it's pretty cool. Some storage over here. Still need to do some arranging and got to find a place to put my cords and stuff like that. Still thinking about building a, a bench. I've got a piece of plate still underneath my truck that I got to build a welding bench out of. I don't know if you can see it under there, kinda. But I was thinking about building me a welding 
table on wheels. So stuff to think about, but man, what a difference. Got the walls painted, got most of my trim up. Uh, pretty cool. So this would have been a dream of my dad. Uh, in his whole life, I don't think he ever owned a home that had a garage. So he was a handy guy like me, changed his own oil and stuff. And if he'd, uh, if he'd have had this garage, he'd have done a lot of great things too. But this would have been a dream of his as well to have a, to have a shop, a garage, especially one heated where you could pull your stuff in and have it be warm. Uh, I uh, I don't want to I don't want to wax too temp sentimental, but I've kind of felt him through this process of putting this together and organizing it, and and uh, now that the old Ford's back in the garage here, and I can start working on it again, I know I'll feel him a lot more. But yeah, that's my story. This would have been a dream of his to have a shop place to work place was dry when my first house I had a single car garage and I need to do some photos but I built several vehicles in that garage a little Chevy love I don't know if I have any pictures of that but we did a 72 Chevy short bed two-wheel drive pickup for my oldest boy we did a 78 Ford Bronco uh, this was in there I had a 78 Chev pickup that I put a motor in in there. We put two motors actually in that truck because my son bought that truck from me, Devin, and we put a another motor in it after he bought it from me. But this is this is amazing. This is the what a what a nice space. Like I said, my dad would have loved this. Uh, but anyway, we'll get back on the. Working on the old Ford, start tearing her down now. The weather's getting better, and I can start. Uh, I can start tearing her down. See if we can't make some real progress. Got me a nice spot up here now. I can even back it up a little further and have even more room up here. Uh, so when I pull the motor out, I'll have plenty of space up here to work on the motor. I'd still like to. Power wash the floor. I think eventually I'll power wash the floor and put some kind of sealer on it, and you know, just make it a make it a little little nicer, a little easier to clean up. But I don't know. We got to go back and look at some of my other videos. I was doing some editing and uh, looking at what we had here before, and it's just night and day, night and day difference. So. Anyway, hope my kids and my friends see this and anyway, getting nostalgic again, so I'll sign off. See you soon.